Coming to you live from the Contaminated Dungeon, it's Max the Animal and Nikki Snacks here on Bagels and Locks. Good morning, good morning, and welcome to Bagels and Locks. I'm your host, Max the Animal, joined by my partner, Nikki Snacks. Sexy. And as always, we will be giving you our best bets for this week's NFL action. And for the first time ever. I fucking hate it. Week 18. It's disgusting. It is repulsive. We should... We Michael Strahan's sack record is going to be broken. I mean, can I talk about this real quick? No. Did I get a chance? No. no you just filmed like three hours of Giants content. It doesn't count. TJ Watt's sack record gets an asterisk next to it. And I don't care that he missed four games. Week 18 should never be. Am I right or no, wrong? I agree. You it should never be. Right, exactly. No, exactly. All right, so... Anyway. Yeah, that's unfortunate. And uh, you know what else is unfortunate? Uh, our picks last week. Yeah, they, we, we failed you guys. We, we, you know, we failed you guys. New year, new me. That's what I said, right? That is true. I said that. Now you're a loser. Again. I said that. If we did a show <laughs> rewind, we'll see. I said new year, new me. You're a loser. Um, because, you know, I was a winner last year. And now I'm a loser. It's like one of my first losing weeks on the show. I think I've only had three or four losing weeks on the show this yeah. year. So it's really tough. But you know what? They can't get mad at you for that. No, don't. If you're mad at me, fuck you. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. we're going six and zero right now. Yeah, we're in the about hardest, to. In the hardest, I think this is the hardest week ever to bet. To, to bet. Yeah, so I got a record of uh, thirty four. It's, right it's right there. And sixteen. I have no idea. Maybe. I have. Either uh, way, that it's, doesn't sound right. No. No. Thirty four and eighteen. That sounds better. That's right. That sounds better. That's right. 34 and 18, maybe something like that. It's still really good. Uh, we're going to capitalize, on, like Snack said, on one of the hardest weeks of gambling because nope. it has never happened before in the history of the NFL. Nope. So, and it's bullshit. And, like, every team has backups playing, and they don't need something. They need something. It's a fucking disaster. I think they're, I think they're overall there's, like, two games that actually matter. Yeah, and we're going to start off with one right now that doesn't matter. Here we go. And here we go for my first pick. The Washington football team <laughs> at the New York Giants. And we're taking the under Ooh, 38. Great, pick. great Because pick. Uh, it's going to be, the weather's not going to be pretty. Uh, both the team's quarterbacks are not going. I don't think Heineke's playing. Even if he is playing, I don't think it matters. Uh, Giants defense is sem- somewhat good sometimes. They so are good defense. They'll keep this score a little low. Uh, I expect this to be, um, I'm going to steal this score. I think someone said 19-3 or 13-3. 13-9. 13-9. 13-9 uh, football team. Yeah, that yeah. sounds about right. Yeah. And so, I don't even think it's going to be that close. I think it's going to be like 20-2. to two Yeah, good. under. Yeah, exactly. Under 38, this is a lock. And you know it's a lock when I'm taking it in under because I never take under. Yeah, I, I'm not even going to lie to you. That and is, uh, also, that might be your best bet ever. New year, new me. So that is true. Yeah, that is true. Reverse yeah. course. Yeah, uh, I really genuinely love that pick. I will be in attendance today, uh, and my plan is to get thrown out of the game. Uh, we will try and provide videos if that happens. Uh, not if, when it happens. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna get thrown out and go Giants. Gonna try and uh, salvage the season. Hope we get blown out. F-ing scumbag motherfuckers. Anyway, <laughs> we're gonna go to another game that doesn't really matter too much because. The Bills are going to beat the Jets, right? So the, they're going to lock up the AFC. Yeah, they just need to win. AFC East, yeah. They're going to beat the Jets. New England's house of horrors over the last couple of years has been Miami. They don't play well in Miami. Brian Flores is the only coach that Bill Belichick has rele- not released, but on his tree that has had any semblance of success against him. Whoa, whoa. Mike Vrabel guy. Vrabel. Yeah, but Vrabel wasn't a coach. Vrabel. But he was was he he's, a coach? He's was he a, like a linebacker? He was like coach? a linebacker's coach. Okay, all right. Yeah, all right, yeah, that's yeah. fair. Okay. I stand corrected. Vrabel has had success, but so is Brian Flores. Oh yeah, no. He Brian does. Flores has had a lot of success against Bill Belichick. And this is a divisional ra- divisional game in Miami. And we're catching the Dolphins at plus six and a half. And that's what we're gonna take. We're taking the Dolphins plus six and a half. Uh, the Dolphins cannot get in the playoffs. I, I think it's like the most insane scenario. I don't even know if there is a scenario. Uh, I don't love the Patriots. I think they're a good team. But I think the Dolphins, outside of last week where they kind of just laid a dud, they've been playing very hot. Their defense is very good. And Flores, you know, is going to go out there. He wants a winning record, 9-8, and eight, finish strong. And I think they can keep that within a touchdown game. So we're taking the Dolphins plus 6.5. 
Very good. Yeah, I, the Dolphins have been they've been playing hot. They've, they've, been, been, playing, play, they've been playing hot. They, they always play the Patriots well. Lower always quality play teams, well. you know, but they're playing hot. So you know, whatever. Six and a half. I like it. Good hey, for listen, you. Listen, like you said, tough week. Good tough for week. you. Oh, you know what is good for you. This pick I'm about to give you, my second pick of the week. We're going to Baltimore. We're going back to Baltimore. I think we went to Baltimore last week. I don't remember. Maybe two weeks ago. I remember one of my picks being somewhere in Baltimore. Either way, we're going to Baltimore, but we're taking the Steelers. It's Steelers at Ravens, plus three and a half. Big Ben goes out on top. You're taking my team? Yeah. It's been my team all year. I know. Listen, Snacks has been a very uh, avid Steelers better, so it's only right that I give them a shot on possibly, well, on not possibly, on the last chance I can this season with this them is, and Ben. This yeah, is it. This so is it. Um, He goes out into the sunset, huh? Yeah, Ben goes out on top. Look, here's the deal. Here's the deal. The, uh, I don't really know. Just, yeah, just All I have is Ben goes out on top. Yeah, it's, that's all. I just, I can, this, hopefully this time you've had some edit where there was like Ben riding off into like the sunset on like a horse. But pile like Mike, a, put him on pile Mike. Mike, put him on pile Mike. Yeah, sure. Yeah. So hopefully Ben goes out into the sunset. I always like Ben, so I'd like him to. Uh, I think the Steelers win outright. I forgot to say that's, that. That's that's, that's what I was going to say. The Steelers win this game money line, but you get them at plus three and a half because I'm a sharp. Why don't you use some of my old tidbits? Tomlin as an underdog is sixty five. I don't give a shit about that. I'm a sharp. Okay. All right. Well, it's what? simple. Steelers plus three and a half. All right. How you doing? Hey, how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, so sticking with the themes of your first bet, we're going to take an under. We're going to take an under. Oh. Uh, there's. Uh, Be happy I didn't go to the ground this time. Oh, God, I was so mad at you last it's week. Started, and then started, I rewatched it last week. And I, did you, you could see that that was not. It was not. No, it was not your fault. That was a sincere. The fact that you went on the ground was just ridiculous. I cracked my back. First place. Yeah, I get it, but you couldn't wait like five f-ing minutes. I oh, hurt. You stupid I bitch. Did. Anyway, it's fine. It's fine. Anyway. We're going to go to an under again. 44 and a half is the over-under for the Colts Jags. We're going to go under in this game. Um, so I bet against the Jags last week. I said the Patriots are going to kill them by 40, and they literally beat them by 40 by scoring 50 and beating them 50 to 10. Uh, the Jags have mailed it in a long time ago. They mailed it in the second September opening day kickoff. Was week one, baby. Good. Yeah, they mailed it in them. Week one. They are done. They want to get on vacation. That's it. The Colts really need to win. They have the best running game in football. They have the best running back in football right now until Derrick Henry comes back. And they're going to run right down their throat. Respect. That means the clock is going to tick. It's going to tick. And the Colts' defense is very good. Again, they have to win. 44 and a half. I see this game is like 31, 31-6? 31-7 maybe? 31-10? The Colts are going to demolish them. The, the total is going to go under 44 and a half. I just don't see how... The Jaguars put up any semblance of offense that res- that can result in points unless they get lucky on a on a bullshit Carson Wentz pick six, which is possible, but I don't think it's going to happen because they're going to run the ball up there down up and down their fucking throat all game long and boom 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 boom. The clock will tick and 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 tick under 44 and a half Colts Jaguars. I'm ticked after listening to that. Yeah, well, we want me to tell you. Yeah. You ever um, gotten a tick? No, I'm scared, though. It's crazy. Me neither. It's just terrifying. So many people have gotten it yeah. that I know. I've yeah, never definitely got a scary thing. Watch out for Lyme disease. Yeah, for also, sure. watch out for the uh, underdog uh, picks that we're about to give you. What did I call it? Underdog play of the day? Underdog play I don't remember. Something like that. Something like that. We're going to head over to the other studio, and uh, we'll do that. Take it away. All right. <clears throat> Thanks, guys. Really appreciate it. I'm going to give you my pick. It's, uh, I'm going to go with, oh, this is the underdog play of the day. You can, uh, you bet both of these in 3X. I'm going to go with Najee Harris, 99 and a half rushing and receiving yards. That's good. I'm going to go, uh, Josh Jacobs, over 62 and a half yards rushing. Chargers rush defense sucks a lot. So that's what I'm going to go with. Yeah, so you can uh, bet both of these for a uh, 3X, so, you know, you'll 3X your money. Also, there's something to do with Jonathan Taylor this week, so yeah, check so that I'll out. There's, like, a bonus out. or a booster. I'm not going to go into details on it. You figure it out. Yeah. Bitch. Fuck you. Take it away. 
All right, thanks, guys. What's with the attitude, though? Am I right? Mm. Jeez. Those guys were a bunch of dicks today, even though I didn't even modify my appearance for that at all this time. Yeah, Yeah, yeah. Yeah. They might know it's actually us. They might. (laughs) Oh, did you hear that sound? No. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, no, they might be on to us now. They might That's know. not good. After all these weeks, we, we really disguised ourselves. Yo, did you hear that? If you act like I hear it, I, I just don't. I know, it's sad. Oh, there it is again. Got it. Yes. Got it. We got it, got folks. It. Right all here, right. right. Yeah, got we got, got it. it. No, got and it. you know what else we got? Got it. This thing that we're going to reach down here oh, below. Oh. And that sound, that means it's time... For the big locks. You like how I made my voice feminine? It's, that's talented. It's not easy to do that. When you have a deep uh, manly voice like my, my, my voice it already is, to get my uh, octaves to that level, it's impressive. Maybe you're just a pussy. <laughs> All right, my, my big lock. For my pussy, is uh, Wait. I'm <laughs> so I'm going with the Packers mm. at the Lions plus three. We're taking the Lions. Wow! I'm telling you what, the Packers have clinched first place already. They're not playing for anything. Is Rodgers gonna play? I don't know. He shouldn't. He shouldn't. Why not? He shouldn't. And you know what else? The Lions they have this it's heart, miles and miles, beating out of their chest. And you know what else they have? This, it's the pride. It's the, it's the lion pride, which is a real thing if you know anything about lions, but also the pride of being a Detroit lion and playing for Dan Campbell. And that's why they win this game outright. They win it on the money line, but you get it at plus three, and that is the big lock. I mean, I don't hate it. Dan Campbell's going to go out swinging, so. Parlay these. Nice toss. Good. They're plus three, huh? There's a coincidence in our big lock. Yours is also plus three. My big lock is also plus three. Sick. The only game that really, really, really matters. A win and in on Sunday night football. Plus three. We're going to Vegas. How fitting that the last week of the year, my big lock, takes place in Vegas. You're, um, you love this team, so. I love them. The Chargers versus the Raiders. And we're taking the Raiders. Plus three. F*** Justin Herbert. I think he's a huge pussy. Anybody that goes back to school to play with his brother and not go into the NFL draft because he wants to play with his brother is a huge, huge pussy. There's no way that man can win a big game. Derek Carr is the most underrated quarterback in the NFL. He wins this game outright. John Madden legacy. John Madden legacy. John Madden's dead. Rest in peace. He is dead. He brought the he brought the Raiders a Super Bowl. I think it might be the only Super Bowl. Is that their only Super Bowl? Is that their only Super Bowl? Yeah, I think it is. John Madden did that. Now he's dead. So Derek Carr honors John Madden's legacy. He beats that fucking miserable bitch Justin Herbert on his own turf. Raiders plus three. The Raiders are going to the playoffs and sneaky Super Bowl favorite. Bagels and locks. Uh, not a sneaky Super Bowl favorite. But no, I agree. They're going to get bounced first round, but they're going to the playoffs and they're going to beat the Chargers. But Justin I, Herbert and that fucking, that miserable surfing long-haired pussy. He is not going to win. I hate that fucking guy. I truly hate Justin Herbert. I will never root for him. And Brandon Stanley, who the f- Staley, who the f- does he think he is? Oh, let's go for two. Let's go for it. Fourth and one. Blah, 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 blah. You cost your team games. You're a bitch. You suck. Your team sucks. Your fans suck. You have no fans. There it is. Plus three. Parlay it. Three and oh. Easy. All right. Thanks for watching. Uh, please comment your likes, your videos. Now I'm pissed. Please like. Please comment your locks down below. Oh, no, no. I, I got one thing said. No, come on. I can't I do this. I can't do this. No, I got one thing said. Bagels and locks. I got one thing said. You motherfucker.